I'm going to read Aladdin. There's the genie. On a dark night in a faraway land, an evil man named Jafar and his wicked parrot were waiting. Soon, a thief named Gazim rode up to them and held out the missing half of a scarab medallion. When Jafar fit the two halves together, thunder rumbled. In a flash of lightning, the medallion raced across the desert. There he is. And there it goes, racing across the desert. Jafar and the thief followed the medallion to the Cave of Wonders. Gazim, bring me the magic lamp, Jafar ordered. But the thief could, didn't make it beyond the opening of the cave. The tiger god of the cave devoured him. Then the tiger god spoke, Only one who is worthy may enter here. Uh-oh. I guess Gazim was not worthy. The next morning, a poor hungry young man named Aladdin and his pet monkey, Abu, were sitting on a rooftop. They were looking down on the marketplace of Agrabah. Suddenly, Aladdin noticed a lovely young woman. She seemed lost. There they are at the bazaar at Agrabah. She took an apple from a vendor's cart. When the angry vendor demanded payment, which the young woman didn't have, Aladdin and Abu rushed to help her. Thank you, kind sir, Aladdin said to the vendor. Thank you for finding my sister. He quickly led the young woman away. There they are. This is your first time in the marketplace, isn't it? asked Aladdin. I'm running away, the young woman explained. My father is for trying to force me to get married. Suddenly, the palace guards appeared and arrested Aladdin. When the young woman demanded that they release Aladdin, the guards found out that she was Princess Jasmine, the sultan's daughter. The guards explained to her that Jafar, her father's advisor, had ordered Aladdin's capture. Yep, there's the soldiers. Princess Jasmine returned to the palace and ordered Jafar to release Aladdin. Jafar told her that the young man had been killed, but Aladdin was not dead. Jafar was keeping him alive because he had learned that Aladdin was the only person worthy to enter the Cave of Wonders. It was Aladdin who would bring the magic lamp to Jafar. Then at last Jafar would use it to become Sultan. Uh-oh. Jasmine looks mad, huh? Disguised as an old man, Jafar took Aladdin to the cave of wonders. The sleeping tiger god awoke. Oh, excuse me. Proceed, he said. Touch nothing but the lamp. Aladdin and Abu gasped as they saw all the gold and jewels in the cavern. Don't touch anything, Abdul, Aladdin warned. Just then, just as Aladdin found the magic lamp and scooped it up, Abu touched a huge glittering jewel. With a loud rumble, the cave began to collapse. Frantic, Aladdin and Abu scrambled back towards the entrance where Jafar was waiting. Help me, shouted Aladdin, but Jafar refused, and Aladdin and Abu tumbled back down into the dark cavern. Boy, that's a big jewel. No wonder the Abu wanted it, huh? And look, there's Aladdin, and there's the magic lamp. Aladdin feared they were trapped forever, but Abu still had the lamp. Aladdin took the old lamp and tried to rub off some of the dust. Poof! In a flash of colorful, colorful swirling smoke, a gigantic genie appeared. Say, you don't look my last master, he said to Aladdin, but you still have three wishes and no wishing for more wishes. There's the genie. Aladdin was stunned. Three wishes. He intended to make good use of them, but first he tricked the genie into whisking them out of the cave on a magic carpet. 
and sure of what to wish for first. Oh, excuse me. Aladdin asked the genie what he would wish for. Surprised at the question, the genie replied, I would wish for freedom. So Aladdin promised to use his third wish to set the genie free. But his first wish was to be a prince so that he could marry Princess Jasmine. And there's the genie being tricked to getting him out of the cave. And look, there's the magic carpet. At the same time in the palace of A at Agrabar, Jafar had used his serpent staff to hypnotize the sultan. The poor sultan was about to agree that Jafar should marry Jam Jasmine. Suddenly they heard the sounds of a parade. The spell was broken and the sultan rushed to the balcony in time to see the arrival of a grand prince. It was Aladdin. The genie had granted the young man's first wish. Well, there's Jafar, and he's hypnotizing the sultan. And look, look, there's the parade. Yay, here comes Aladdin. Aladdin entered the throne room. Your majesty, he said, bowing to the sultan. I am Prince Ali Ababwa. I have come to seek your daughter's hand in marriage. The sultan was thrilled. The law stated that Jasmine must marry a prince before her next birthday, which is only days away. But the princess did not want to marry Prince Ali. She was not in love with him. Uh-oh. There she is. And she looks ticked off, huh? Prince Ali offered the princess a ride on his magic carpet, hoping to win her love. During the magical journey, Princess Jasmine realized uh -oh, <sighs> that Prince Ali was the young man who had rescued her in the marketplace. That starry night, Aladdin and Princess Jasmine fell in love. Nope, there they are, on the magic carpet. But later that night, Jafar had Prince Ali captured and thrown into the sea. He was making sure that the Prince Ali would not marry Jasmine and foil Jafar's own evil plans. Luckily, Aladdin had the magic lamp with him. He summoned the genie and asked for his second wish to save his life. The genie quickly transported Aladdin back to the palace in Agrabah. Uh-oh, it really looks like he was in trouble. And there's the genie to the rescue. Now that Prince Ali was out of the way, Jafar was determined to marry Princess Jasmine. I will never marry you, Jafar, cried Jasmine. Papa, I choose Prince Ali. But once again, the sultan was under Jafar's spell, and he ordered his daughter to marry Jafar. The princess was suspicious. Papa, what's wrong with you, she asked. Oh, dear. Jafar is up to no good again. Suddenly, Aladdin burst into the throne room and smashed Jafar's serpent staff. He's been controlling you with this, your highness, said Aladdin. Immediately, the spell was broken. Traitor, shouted the sultan. Guards, arrest Jafar. But before the guards could capture him, Jafar escaped into his secret laboratory. And there is Aladdin smashing the evil serpent. <coughs> Despite his hasty exit, Jafar had seen that Prince Ali was carrying the magic lamp. <coughs> Prince Ali was really Aladdin. Jafar ordered Lego, his parrot, to steal the lamp. When Iago returned, Jafar made the genie appear. I wish to be sultan, he demanded. Uh-oh. That looks like trouble for Aladdin and Jasmine. The moment had come for the sultan to announce the wedding of Princess Jasmine and Prince Ali, Ali Babwa. A cheering crowd had gathered in front of the palace. Suddenly, Jafar appeared in the sultan's robes. The crowd gasped. 
Genie, what have you done? Aladdin shouted. Sorry, kid, said the genie sadly. I've got a new master now. Uh-oh. Wow. Then Jafar made his second wish. He wanted to be the most powerful sorcerer in the world. Jafar, the sorcerer, lost no time in turning Prince Ali back into Aladdin. Jasmine could not believe her eyes. Jasmine, I'm sorry, cried Aladdin. I'm not a prince. I can't marry you. Uh-oh. Looks like evil Jafar is going to win. Finally, Jafar banished Aladdin to the ends of the earth. When Aladdin found himself a million miles from nowhere, he was glad that Abu and the magic carpet were still with him. Back to Agrabar, he shouted to the carpet, as fast as you can. Mm. Looks like Aladdin lucked out, huh? Jafar was in the palace throne room, enjoying his newfound power, when Aladdin appeared. How many times do I have to destroy you, boy, he roared. You cowardly snake, Aladdin snapped. Cowardly snake, shouted Jafar with a loud hiss. He turned himself into a giant cobra. Without the genie boy, you're nothing, said Jafar, laughing. Ha, 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 ha. Boy, Aladdin looks tiny next to that cobra, huh? Looking up at the power-hungry Jafar, Aladdin had an idea. The genie has more power than you'll ever have, he jeered. Yes, 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 hissed Jafar. You're right, I'm ready to make my third wish. I wish to be a genie. The moment Jafar turned into a genie, Aladdin smiled. Jafar had forgotten that a genie must live in the lamp. He and Iago disappeared into their own magic lamp. Wow, it looks like Jafar was beaten, huh? The Sultan was overjoyed. That very day he changed the law so that Jasmine could marry the man she chose. And she chose Aladdin. And what did Aladdin do with his third wish? He kept his promise and wished for the genie's freedom. Look out, world, exclaimed the genie. Here I come. I'm free. And there he is, all dressed for his vacation. Wow. And that is the story of Aladdin. So, good night, sweet dreams, love you.